Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to uh, explain the Perkins uh, 1300 ADI series and how to work on this if you have troubling and problem with the Perkin 1300 series engine crank but does not start how to check and how to fix this very easily and very simple before the starting the video I have small request to all of you especially for newcomer if you are not subscribed my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos because I daily basis uploaded video on my channel to explain the different types of engine problem and fix the solution and finding the solution so today we let's get started on Perkins 1300 EDI series that's mean EDI electronic diesel injection system this engine the injection system completely operated with the electrical solenoid components okay and how to fix the, this engine if you are getting the problem engine crank but does not start how to fix and how what is uh, what is the main circuit of to check the to fix the problems so let's get start this is all the ECM or ECU you can call from the ECM this uh, ECM have two connectors one is customer connector one is the engine harness for the sensors uh, sensors and uh, injection and so many other electrical components from the ECM pin 25 pin 25 is a output for the main relay the ECM main relay ECM sent positive voltage to the main relay what is the working of main relay main relay activate all the internal system of the ECM ok ECM when you turn on the key switch the ECM send the command to the main relay activate all the system injection system fuel system and uh, sensor all activation okay from this side the main relay one is the coil supply one is the power okay the power when the relay in is energized this context will close okay this context is closed this context feed the voltage positive voltage to the pin 21 pin 22 and pin 41 okay this is for the DC to DC converter because our injector is operate on DC okay about the uh, 110 and on 115 volts of the DC very dangerous okay be sure and take care if you are working on this okay pin 21 22 and 41 21 is a DC to DC converter 22 is a positive feed to the internal ACM and pin 41 is a SHO plus SHO for your positive feed that's mean this 3 pin is need a positive ok you check the positive voltage and it's all pin first you check this main relay because this relay is feeding to this pins and first of all you check the output of the power relay ok check the power check here is voltage if it's working check the relay continuity relay coil and relay condition then check the relay output to feed this 21 to 22 to 41 ok this is all positive feed the MACM power relay send the command send the positive signal to the main relay when main relay is this this check positive supply from the battery or the circuit breaker or the fuse and get back to the 21, 22 and 41 ok that's mean this three terminals 
and this three pins is our positive supply. Okay, for the starting purpose. If you're not getting supply here, that's you will not also not getting supply here because first of all the problem is power relay output is not sending to the main relay. When the main relay is not energizing, that's not sending back feeding to the these three pins 21 and 22 and 41. Okay, now. This SEM is need positive and negative. Okay. From the another side, the pins SEM 23 pins is SHO, SHO negative. That's mean ground feed. Okay. 42 is a DPS operational and ground feed. That's ground feed. Also, you check this is a ground. Also, check this is a ground. And this last, this one. Pin number one is DC to DC converter because the DC, the 110 volt, uh, full 24 volt convert to 110 volt for the operational of the injector. That's need negative and positive. Okay, or the is or ACM have inside the DC to DC converter to boost the 24 volt to 110 for the operational to, for the operating of the injectors. Okay, the final one is our ground feed because this ACM is need positive and negative okay you check here ground you check here ground you check here ground you check here ground if you have getting all ground here that's mean your SEM is okay this ground is sending from the B battery positive to sending to the SEM okay this all all of the spice join back together and the same separate 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 wire to the this 23 40 Two and one and two. Okay, this is this voltage is coming from the negative fuse of the battery. Okay. No one is another thing for the starting. This is our IPR one. IPR one is mounted on our uh, fuel pump. Okay. IPR one pin seventeen is our the pin seventeen from the ECM is a IPR positive. Okay. And Pin 37 is our IPR signal. You check this pins in the ECM. Make sure to get in the positive and signals. If the IPR wall is not working, IPR stands for in injector pressure regulator. If the IPR wall is not working, that means your engine is not possible to start. Okay. One is another main thing, CMP cam shock position sensor. From the ECM, pin 40 is our signal. And 53 is our ground and 51 is our power. Okay, the cam shaft position sensor have three wires. Cam shaft sensor is mounted on the front cover of the timing plate. Okay, this have three wire. One is a positive, one is a negative, one is a five volt difference from the ECA. You check supply and these all wires. If you're not getting any supply of these wires, this means the cam shaft not sending back signal to the is you is you not activating the injection system so i hope you understand my video see you all next time stay tuned and goodbye